hi guys uh, welcome to my channel selenium tech automation in this video i am going to discuss about the test ng execution order okay so how the test ng annotations will work in real time so we are going to have a look into this uh, a part in this video and if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel selenium tech automation and also please drop a like for this video and please share this video to your uh, friends or colleagues so that our video will recommend for more people who are looking for the same topic because this question is generally we are getting during our interviews like we are getting frequently this kind of question so that is why i came up with some uh, detailed explanation along with the example okay let's get started our video so as you can see here so this is a scenario what i had okay so first before going to execute uh, executing my scripts i have to delete the cookies which are present in that particular browser history as well as browser session so before going to execute my scripts i need to execute first this step so once clearing all the cookies then i am going to launch into my email application okay so after launching the application that email application i am going to log into my email after that i am going to send an email to the receiver okay so who is there i am going to send email to him after that i am taking logout from the email account so again i am going to log in to the email with a new user so then i need to check whether i have received that email or not so after i check or confirm that i received that email i am going to take logout from that particular email account and then i am going to close the email application and then i am going to close all the browsers which are currently opened in the session so this is the order where i have to follow so to do this what is the test ng execution order we need to follow here so if you want to follow means we need to use the predefined annotations which are provided by the test ng so actually here we can tell this test ng as a testing framework which is inspired from the java unit so where it is providing the many powerful features to execute our java programs this is called as test ng and also these annotations are also comes under the test ng feature okay here the test ng provided a set of built annotations called as at the rate test at the rate before method at the rate after method at the rate after class at the rate before class at the rate before test and after test and before suit and after suit okay and also with the help of this test ng we can perform some validations also using of some assertions okay and also this test ng produces a test results in different formats for that we no need to make any extra code to achieve that okay after executing the test cases and also this test ng is providing at the rate data provider annotation to execute the data driven kind of test cases which is not required the for loop to do that if i want to test multiple users in a single application means i will use here at the rate data provider annotation so that i can avoid that for loop to use here that is also one feature offered by the test ng and then with the help of this test ng we had one more feature called as where we can merge all our test cases and we can execute all these test cases at a single shot how we can do means we can do with the help of file called as testng.xml file so these are the different features so what we have using of testng and also what why we need this testng in our selenium okay in selenium project implementation we need all these features if i want to execute my application if i want to test my application means we need to have all these features which are offered by the test ng because by defaultly in selenium we don't have this feature so that is why we are relying on this particular test ng for execution purpose to use those annotations to use this uh, at the rate data provider annotation to use these assertions and also to use uh, to execute all the test cases at suit level so this we can achieve with the help of test ng not by the selenium that is why we are depending upon or relying on this particular test ng for every project they have to depend or they have to use test ng as their execution management tool okay 
so let's get started so here i have already prescribed one uh, code here it is a sample code you can see here okay you can see here so i want to achieve in this way like before going to execute my scripts so first i want to delete my cookies so to do that so we have an one annotation here so the annotation called as at the red before test so what exactly this at the red before test will do here so what exactly this at the red before test will do here means this method marked with at the rate before test right so the method which is marked with at the rate before test will be executed before going to executing the each test cases present inside the suit okay whatever the method which is marked with the at the rate before test annotation this annotation test is going to execute first before going to execute the remaining test cases present inside the suit or test class or class file okay so here at the rate before test the annotation which the test which is marked with at that before test is going to be execute first before going to or execute once before going to execute the remaining test cases present inside the test suit okay that is where i marked it as a first step here before executing scripts i want to delete the cookies present inside the browser so for that i have used here at the red before test this is the first part or this is the first annotation this is the first step in our sequential order of execution using of test ng so after that what is my next target here launching the application okay so after clearing the cookies so i am going to launch my application so for that we have here at the rate before class so what exactly this before class will do here the method marked with at the rate before class annotation will be executed once before executing the all the test ng classes okay the method marked with at the rate before class annotation will be execute once before executing a test ng class okay before going to execute this test ng class the method marked with at the rate before class is going to be execute once then only the remaining classes are going to be execute so after launching my email application what is my next step here i am going to log into my email application okay i am going to log into my email application for this i have mentioned here for this i have mentioned here before method so what exactly this at the rate before method will do here a method which is configured with at the rate before method will be executing once before executing the each test method present inside the class file correct so before going to execute the remaining test methods okay before going to execute the remaining test methods present inside this class this is going to be execute once okay the method the test method which is marked with at the rate before method is going to be execute once before executing each and every test method present inside the class file okay so after i am going to log in then what i need to do here i need to send an email okay i need to send an email so for that i have used here at the rate test priority because test ng will execute in a sequential order if i want to execute as per my requirements means we can execute we can use here priorities okay that is why i have used here priority equals to zero so after like before going to execute each and every class so first uh, this method is going to be execute present inside this particular class so after i am going to log into my email application the next scenario here is i need to send an email to the another person within the team so to do that i have mentioned here at the rate test annotation what exactly this at the rate test annotation will do here so what exactly this at the rate test annotation will do the methods which are marked with at the rate test are considered for testing okay the methods which are marked with at the rate test annotation are considered for testing or executing purpose and test ng will produce the results for only these test methods okay test ng will produce the results for only these test methods the methods which are marked with at the rate test annotation 
okay the methods which are marked with at the rate test are considered for execution or testing purpose and test ng will produce only results for the methods which are marked with at the rate test annotation okay so what is our next step so again i am going to take logout from the email okay again i am to i am going to take the logout from the email after sending any email i want to take logout so how we can do with the help of at the rate after method so here you can see i have used one more annotation called as at the rate after uh, after method annotation so what exactly this at the rate after method annotation will do here a method which is configured with a method which is configured with at the rate after method annotation will be executed once after executing each test method present inside the class so so far i have done with my sending the email after sending email i want to take logout from the email application so during that time this at the rate after method annotation will come into picture which means that a method which is configured with at the rate after method annotation is going to be execute once after executing the test methods present inside the class okay so that is where it will come so after taking the logout so again what i am doing i am going to log in with the different account to check whether i have received the email or not so to do that again i am using here login to email so again i am here login to email so here again this at the rate before method will come into picture i am login to this email application as the second user to check whether i have received any email from the first user or not so to do that i have to login so again this at the rate before method annotation will come into picture and what it does means what does it means a method which is configured with at the rate before method annotation which is going to be execute once before going to execute each test method present inside our test ng class or class file okay before going to execute each and every test methods this at the rate before method is going to be execute once so after email login test so i am going to verify whether i have received any email or not as a second user you can see the seventh step here so to achieve this again as i mentioned i have used here priority one to execute my scripts as per my requirements not by default or sequential order provided by the test engine so that is why again i have used here at the rate test annotation followed by the priority okay the methods which are marked with at the rate test annotation are considered for testing okay the methods which are marked with at the rate test annotation will be considered for testing or executing based upon that the test ng will produce the results only for the tests which are marked with the at the rate test annotation okay so once if i check whether i have received that email or not after that what is my next step i am going to take out the logout from the application email application to do that again i have used here after method annotation so what is this at the rate after method will do here a method which is configured with at the rate after method will be executed once after completing or after executing each test method present inside the test ng class or test file so once that user took logout from the email application i am going to close my email application so for that what i am doing here what i am doing here close email test correct where is that yeah this one okay after i checked whether i have received or not the email from the user one i am going to close the application so here at the rate after class annotation will come into picture so what is this at the rate after class will do here the methods which are marked with at the rate after class will be execute once after executing each and every class for example if i have five classes in my suit so after completing the first class this method is going to be close the application again it will take the next test case to execute or next class to execute so here what exactly this after class annotation will do means the method which is marked with at the rate after class will execute once after executing a test ng class so once if i am done with this particular test ng class i am going to execute or i am going to continue with the remaining classes present inside our test ng dot xml file 
at suit level okay once this is also done what I, what is my next step i am going to close all my browsers which are currently open to do that which which annotation i have used here close all browsers test okay close all browsers test here so what is this method will do after test so what exactly the method marked with at the rate after test annotation will be executed once after each test present in the suit okay after completing my all the steps i am going to closing my current browser then only i am going to continue with my second test case or second class correct at suit level so that is why this at the rate after test will come into picture and it will perform to closing the browser once that is also done what i am going to do if you are going to execute your uh, test cases at suit level means we can use this at the rate before suit before going to execute my test cases so i am going to initialize my web driver here and after that so once this all test case got completed i am going to kill my current browser session so to do that i am using here at the rate after suit annotation so this is the sequential steps we have to follow so let me execute and we will see the test results how it is going to be executed here okay here you can see why we are getting here at the rate test sorry two tests got passed means okay two tests got passed here you can see there are two passes and two tests got run so for these two tests only test ng will produce a result which are marked with the at the rate test annotation so what are what is our test methods marked with at the rate test annotation that is email send test and email receive test you can see the same in our console part also email send and email receive test ng will produce the test results for at the rate test annotated methods only okay so once this is also complete you can see here you can see here email application launch first the web driver initialization initialization test got passed after that cooking the delete test is getting executed after that application got launched and then login test and then send test after that logout test login test again the second user is checking by logging into his account to check whether i have received the email from the user one or not and then that second user also taking the logout after that i am going to close my email application and i am closing all my currently open browsers by end of the execution for each and every after executing each and every class i am going to close my browser here that for that reason we are using here after test annotation so and also during your interview so what is the default priority value in test ng to execute a, any test method so we can call it or we can tell it as priority 0 so if you pass priority 0 it is going to be execute first but many of the people will think that priority will always starts from the 1 no but priority by default it, it will start from the priority equals to 0 ok so that is all about how the test ng sequential execution order will happen in real time so you can uh, compare the same if you are working or if you want to practice in real time by providing the url where we are launching the application after that where we are going to compose the email after that where we are going to send that email and then closing or log out from the application again log into the application so you can uh, play with uh, play with that particular scenario okay based upon your requirements you can try to execute so this is how uh, you need to represent during your interviews if you got this question at the time of your interview at the same time you will get one more question saying that what is the default priority value for test ng execution so we can say priority equals to zero it will execute first then priority one followed by the priority two priority three priority four so this is all about the sequential execution order of test ng what is the sequence order of test ng execution you can explain in this way okay so that is all about this video if you like this video please drop a like for this video and also please share this video to your friends or colleagues so that they will also learn the concept the same concept what we have discussed so far and also your share will help us a lot and also youtube will suggest this video for more people who are looking for the same tutorial okay thank you so much guys we will be, we will meet with our next video
as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.